Deep in the misty coastal mountains is our home. We go by many different names. Sokai, Chinook, Koho, Chum, and Pink. We are wild Pacific salmon, and this is our story. Born in winter in small creeks and streams, we escape our pink eggs. As Alevin, with our yolk sacs still attached, we emerge from the gravel. Feeding on plankton, we grow into fry. We hide under branches, in water plants, as we feed at night. The dark is our ally, hiding us from predators. As we grow bigger, we become stronger. We change. Our bodies adapt. We change from within to adapt to the salt water, where we will live for some three years. We lose our green coats and exchange it for a mantle of silver scales that makes us less visible in the ocean. Coming down the river on our way to the ocean, we pass the Seychad, the people with whom we have an age-old bond. The legend goes that we, the salmon people, live in the ocean and once a year we dress up like salmon. We make the great journey to the river and feed the Seychad. First, there are only a few of us, but soon many follow. As they harvest us, we bring food and prosperity. When they pull in their nets, we slap our tails on the beach and make the sound of wealth. The louder the sound, the better the riches. We create wealth, and because of the fishing, we create community. But for most of us, the journey up the river isn't done. We must move along feeding bears and others along the way. So, onward we go. If we don't complete the journey, people, animals, and even the trees will go hungry. The small pools that offer some rest are so full that we push each other out of the water. We now meet our biggest challenge. Fast rapids and waterfalls demand all our strength. The relentless force of the water tests our bodies to its limits, and only the strongest amongst us will make it up the falls. Luckily, our bodies are well streamlined and adapt to the flow of the river. We use every ounce of power left in our bodies to get up the spawning grounds. As our numbers grow, the space in the river lessens. It is a contest of will against the power of the water. We throw ourselves with all our might against the raging water of the falls to get where we need to be. And then we are there. Those of us who made it up the falls find ourselves suddenly in placid waters. In the peaceful part of the river, we rest a while. The green water reflects the spirit of the forest where our bodies will soon feed the trees. And then it is time. We put on our red mantles and our green golden crowns for the wedding dance. It will be our last dance. Like a tango, it is a constant flooding and ebbing of attraction and rejection. We came back to the same places where we were born. Just as we did as children, we hide in impossibly shallow water, amongst water plants, under trees, while we dig our nests. Even at the end of our journey, the struggle continues. The struggle to find a partner. The struggle to find a nest site and the struggle for the right to create the next generation. In the end, our females will dig a nest in the gravel with their tails. They will deposit the eggs and the males will fertilize them. They are the same pink eggs from which we were born. The small cloth of protection we were once wearing, buried in the gravel until our children emerge. And then, then it is all over. Our last energy spent, we start our final journey. Our journey to complete the circle of life and death. But even in death we give life, 
as our bodies feed the trees. In return, the trees will protect our young, who will be born soon. And so the circle is completed. This story has been told since time immemorial. Hachatakin teach. He shook his much a walk then.